a four node cluster that means we have windows cluster available on four nodes we have one dc domain controller we have all four members under this domain which are member servers and i am running sql on all of these four servers so you can see from the middle pane so where i am going to show you how to access these four servers so that is for me here i am running sql 2014 version so i am going into my SRV1 server opening up my SQL. In my previous three videos, you have seen that I have created always on high availability group AOHA underscore group. So then I had a replica SRV2 as a secondary SQL server. I had four databases, three of them I am using from um, primary to secondary for replication. Here I am going to show you the options of the properties of my availability group. So here you are looking at those databases which I have selected for replication from primary server to secondary server. On the bottom, you can see my SRV1 as a primary SQL server and SRV2 as a secondary SQL server. Here you are looking at the backup preferences where you see on the top prefer secondary that specifies that backups should occur on a secondary replica except when the primary replica is the only replica online. In that case, the backup should occur on the primary replica. This is the default option. The second one you can see is a secondary only, which specifies that backups should never be performed on the primary replica. If the primary replica is the only replica online, the backup should not occur. Then you see primary, which specifies that the backups should always occur on the primary replica. This option is useful if you need backup features, such as creating differential backups, that are not supported when backup is run on a secondary replica. Then you have any replica. The This option is the fourth option, which specifies that you prefer that backup jobs ignore the role of the availability replicas when choosing the replica to perform backups. Note, backup jobs might evaluate other factors such as backup priority of each availability replica in combination with its operational state and connected state. So that was a brief explanation about uh, these four options. Then you can see here my uh, priority level one which is lower and 100 is higher so srv1 is my primary server where in my previous videos i believe in video two or part two uh, i have created my always on high availability group so on the left to right you see here uh, service, uh, server instance, backup priority, and uh, exclude replica. So here let me uh, go uh, briefly to explain these uh, few options here. The server instance is the name of the instance of SQL server that hosts availability uh, replica. 
then we have a backup priority uh, lowest is one highest is 100 which specifies your uh, priority for performing gap backups on this replica relative to the other replicas in the same availability group as i created on my primary server the value is an integer in the range of 0 dot dot 100 dot 1 indicates the lowest priority and 100 indicates the highest priority as you see in this box if backup priority is equal to 1 the availability replica would be chosen for performing backups only if no higher priority availability replicas are currently available then you see this uh, last column here the third one that exclude replica select if you never want this availability replica to be chosen for performing backups this is useful for example for a remote availability replica which you never want backups to fail over so uh, again uh, uh, i promised in my video 3 that uh, I will go ahead and do uh, explain these things a little bit and also will provide you a, a, a note or, or a notepad or a word document where you will see some uh, review questions or some details. So what uh, you are going to do here, you will see here a couple of sets. So for example, I can quickly go over or actually I don't have to go over uh, you simply can go and pause my screen and read these all questions because you might want to know for your development environment or for your production environment so uh, instead of me reading this all to you I am uh, leaving this for up to you here you simply can can go ahead and just uh, pause this screen review these questions and the answers and you have these uh, very uh, well organized uh, questions and answers which most likely I believe everybody who is an SQL DBA uh, should have these questions. So uh, A indicates the answer and numbers are indicating the questions. So you simply can go uh, again. Uh, you don't have to rush uh, I would say simply just pause the screen in this way you can uh, save your own time and i would save my recording time so because uh, this thing can be done actually the way you actually can do uh, as i uh, decided for you to do it so uh, again uh, you simply can go and uh, watch my video number one video number two and look at that uh, how I did it I had three uh, databases and you can directly connect from same SQL first uh, server to the second one now you see on the top is my first SQL server which is primary on the bottom is secondary if you expand always on high availability group you will see exactly what you see in primary so that's what replica is uh, this uh, is a, a very a good scenario uh, if anything happens to my S or V1 I don't have to be worried about it because S or V2 is available up and running and this is my listener my listener is uh, basically uh, using a static IP address so when I created this listener uh, a host record was created so this is the list of my IP scheme you saw this in my uh, first page as well uh, initial page on my each video I am posting this uh, so I changed my listener name I just a bit misspell is a my listener so uh, anyways uh, I do have another video which I am working on which is video number five that will explain a little bit more about this concept uh, and also will uh, clarify if you have any confusion on that one 
uh, I will try to add whatever I can under the description so you can take a look on that. So my listener basically is a unique name. It wasn't unique. I showed you in my previous videos when I have to make it unique. So here uh, I think I'm well all uh, set uh, in this scenario. So a uh, few more things to come. I will show you on that one. Uh, this is my cluster. So on SRV1, I have a management console where I'm showing you here. This is a four not cluster. Uh, you can expand your secondary servers as I did in my uh, video number two or three where I added my fourth server as well. Then I removed it. So these are my networks. Cluster network one up and running. So I do have all nodes up and running. So, uh, so far everything is well and good. In this way, you also uh, learn in this uh, video number one about uh, installing or setting up failover clustering. So here just uh, properties of my always on high availability, availability group. So this is the only uh, sole role which I am running right now on my uh, under my role so because uh, that is what i have uh, right now and i hope you would like this video so you my video number five bye